going on guys so we're going to be doing the one year review on the sportsman camo seat covers so one year with the seat covers and the main reason i got seat covers i knew i was going to get some before i even got the truck was because my boy huey which i will show y'all i'm sure you've seen him in videos before but come here huey. come here he's crazy as can be so i knew uh, going into getting this truck i was going to get some seat covers because Huey always is going riding with me and stuff. He loves riding. He just looked at me like I was crazy when I just said that because he's so hyper. Um, but yeah, so that is the only reason I got, the main reason I got seat covers. And going into buying my truck, that's why I opted to get cloth ones on top of the big price difference. But um, yeah, I knew I was going to get seat covers, so there was no reason getting leather, leather, spending the extra several thousand dollars getting leather just to cover it up because, of course, leather would probably get more butchered than um cloth with long toenails he is kind of brutal on upholstery and stuff so seat covers were a big thing and they needed to be good ones my last truck had some huey didn't tear them up and they were good we're gonna go over here check the truck out check out the seat covers and see how they've been for the last year huey you gonna go for a ride he absolutely loves going everywhere in this thing so as you can see, they still look absolutely great. Everything, there's no real tears. There's a little stuff like this where a couple of little fibers have come out, which he does wear this seat out. I mean, he's he's constantly up and down, moving around on it and stuff. So it's definitely taking a beating. So I do need to go through here some places and readjust because obviously none of this is like super duper stuck down. I mean, it's, it's very secure, but it's not permanent. So stuff like this has gotten a couple of wrinkles and stuff. You can go in here and tighten them down and there's no problem. Um, but that's just one of the things I need to do. I do need to go in here and tighten everything up. So I'm gonna give my honest opinion on these things. For one, I do not care. And I don't think I have these installed incorrectly. I do not think I do. Everyone I've seen has them installed like this and I've tried to figure out another way and don't think there is. I don't like how it covers up your buttons. So you have to really feel for which ones See, I don't even, I didn't, I missed them. You kind of got to really remember and feel which ones control what. And so that's definitely a negative. Um, I mean, the cable system and everything for going on, you know, attaching them, it's pretty good. It's not great, but it is pretty good. Um, let's see. Watch your foot, bud. So they kind of, I don't even know if these are right, but this is how I strapped it down. And it stayed perfectly secure to using that way. So they're all nice and tight. And they, I mean, they're great. All my friends really like them. They're comfy. They've got a little pad underneath here. They're pretty comfy. And uh, I mean, honestly, they've been great. Uh, I did want to unattach that because what good is a seat cover if it doesn't and i've removed this once a long time ago so i don't know what this is going to look like but we're going to do it live on camera because the seat cover is not only meant just to not tear nothing but right here is a big place where you get in and out and so we're going to see i'm thinking it's probably not perfect but i'm thinking it's better than it would be all right so that's pretty good i mean it's got these two little wrinkles right here but that could just be i don't know so you'd be surprised how many people comment on like the Silverado Facebook page and stuff and they're like, why does my 2017 or 2018 truck's interior look worse than my uh, 97 did? So a lot of people complain about them wearing out really quick. So I would say this is pretty minimal. We got about 13,000 miles on here and I get in and out of the truck about 20 times a day. It is a little dirty in here, so obviously some dirt and stuff has gotten through here. And they probably have some kind of cleaning regimen where you're supposed to take these off every so often and clean your actual seat underneath. But I mean, honestly, this, these two little wrinkles, I'm sure they can, they would probably lay over, smooth out, whatever, if I had this off. I don't know, maybe that's just the way I sit or something that got those little wrinkles. But up here, there's no, no, nothing worn or anything. It's a, just a little bit dirty. But I would say that that seat cover has definitely done its trick. I'm going to hop over on the passenger side and check it out as well. All right, so I undid the back side. So, so once again, seat looks really good under here. Just a little, little dusty, I guess, which is, I guess, to be expected, especially Huey, because he's always 
running through the mud and then hopping straight in here. This is, you know, itself is pretty dirty. I need to clean it, but I would say the seats themselves have definitely held up great underneath. 400 and I think $80, and that was for this. Your truck might be different. Mine is the center console, so I don't know what that compares to the people that have the flip bench. So if you want really nice seat covers, you're gonna have to pay the money. I know camo is not for everyone. A lot of people comment and say they like everything about the truck except for the camo. And I guess I can understand that, but at the same time, I mean, I don't know why camo bothers people. I think it looks good. I don't have a problem with it. I mean, I have got a couple camo shirts and stuff. Obviously, as you see, uh, we out here. So, I mean, I guess maybe that's just my location, my growing up or whatever, but um, yeah, so I would 100% recommend sportsman camo they didn't pay me they didn't do anything like that they didn't give me a discount i paid full price for these unfortunately because i've promoted them but you know <laughs> it is what it is but um yeah i would 100 percent say they're definitely worth it they're they're really nice honestly a lot of money but you don't want to go down to walmart spend 50 bucks and get one that you know doesn't fit good wears out in a month and you just you get what you pay for and all and in most cases and this is definitely one of them so definitely if you've been on the fence i would say go get them um they're very nice they fit well the only iffy thing is down there where i was saying where it covers up the controls not my favorite design but at the end of the day i guess it protects the plastic and everything down there as well and let's be honest how often do you really move your seats really the only time i move mine is if i eat lunch in here and then i slide my seat all the way back so i can put my phone on the steering wheel and eating off the console and that kind of stuff so not very often but that is just my one complaint i would say they keep the seats in good condition i mean that, that this side's got two little wrinkles which i think will smooth out if i had them off i think it's just from it the way i've got it secured down there it's pulling up against it so they're doing their job to me they look really good they fit really good they're comfortable um i guess the only other thing the, you know, the console, you got your phone here, which I use this all the time. Any iPhone 8 and newer, 8 Plus and newer maybe. It might just be, it might be the 8 as well, but I know for a fact 8 Plus and newer um, have the remote wireless charging. So um, this works good um, the way it is, which these have come undone. So I, that's one reason there's wrinkles. But it's double-sided. Pull that down, or you put the Velcro on. I just need to adjust these in all honesty, but um, yeah, so you, this, this is really tight, but underneath this, if you can see, it's dirty, but this is leather under here. So y'all saw how much Huey was walking around, and that would be absolutely destroyed if this was leather and he's walking on it with his big toenails and stuff. This would be destroyed, and I guess let me take this off and see how it looks because he walks on this all the time, and I've never looked under there. Let's see here. So, it, I see no toenail marks or scratches or anything. It's basically perfect. Got a little stain there. I guess something got spilled probably underneath here at some point. But I do need to go under here with some leather cleaner and clean this up. It's dirty as well. But no toenail marks, no nothing. So that is awesome. I'm actually really glad to see that. So I'm going to put this back on before he uh, steps on it. All right, guys, well, that's about going to do it. Hopefully this was insightful to y'all, people that were on the fence about buying them and stuff. I would say go for it. If you got the money, you want to protect your seats, go for it for sure. I would 100% recommend them just off of the product. It is good. It is pricey, but it is good. So you definitely get what you pay for. Um, I guess you can go check them out. Sportsman Camo, SeatCovers.com or something like that. I'm sure you can find them, Google it. So with all that being said, hopefully you did enjoy and we'll see you in the next one.